Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Gabby and today we are doing top 10 fragrances for the summertime, daytime and nighttime. I've gotten here more exactly 20 perfumes. 10 are going to be amazing for the daytime and then the other 10 are going to be amazing for the nighttime. I've actually tried to pair them up. So I think if you like the one from for the daytime, you're going to like the one for the nighttime as well. You have different combinations in here. We're gonna have designers, we're gonna have niche, we're gonna have like always a little bit of everything. So before we start, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and now let's jump in. All right, let's start with some safe fragrances. Maybe for someone that is just starting their perfume collection, they don't know exactly what they wanna get and they want to play it safe. For the daytime, I do have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Intense. This is your standard citrusy fragrance. It does smell like cleaning product to me. It does last on the skin. It's a citrusy, freshy, that type of scent. It's a no-brainer. Everyone is gonna like it. It's gonna be refreshing. Uh, this is just gonna be perfect for every day. And then for nighttime, I chose a vanilla. Olympia Intense from Paco Rabanne. Come on, vanilla, it's safe. This one, it's a salty vanilla, it has some amber. If the amber is too much for you, you can go with the original Paco Rabanne Olympia. I personally prefer the intense version, just because I know it has a bit of character. Even though it has amber, don't be scared. Like it's not a thick amber, it's not a dark amber. I've tested it and this works amazing for the nighttime. Again, something safe, a vanilla fragrance, but still it has a twist. Olympia intense from Paco Rabanne. Next, if let's say you already have these safe choices and you want something a bit different, you can go with Carnel Barcelona, Lucomoir, Lucomor. I've honestly, I've asked them how to pronounce it. They told me and I completely forgot. This perfume, it's again, your citrusy fragrance, but it just has this like aromatic touches. This was a blind buy for me and a very, very successful one. It just has something different. Yes, it's a citrusy. Yes, it's a fresh perfume. But those, I'm not sure what the notes are, to be honest. But those aromatic um, nuances that it has just makes it, makes it different, but still very, very wearable. And I don't know, something that you can wear every day during the summer, during the summertime. Carnival Barcel Barcelona, Lucomor, Lucomoir. I generally don't know. And then for the night time, chose another vanilla, but again, a bit different. Vanita Dahiti from Paris Monte Carlo. This is a sexy, beautiful vanilla with champaka and ylang ylang. It's that beautiful mix between yellow flowers and vanilla. Even though it's quite a warm fragrance, it works amazing, just amazing for summer evenings. Vanita Dahiti from Paris Monte Carlo. Let's say you really, really like citrusy, lemony fragrances. Malibu Party in the Bay from Simone Andreoli is going to be an amazing choice for the daytime. This is lime. This is coconut. It has, this one has rum as well. You can definitely, definitely smell that lime. It's quite intense, not going to lie. And then the coconut makes it sweet. And then the rum just gives this fragrance, I know, something different and if you want for the night time, you can go with Lemon Tart from Theodoro Scalotinis. This is incredible. Yes, it's a gourmand. Yes, it's very sweet. So this can be worn like all year round. It doesn't need to be just summertime. But this one, even though it's sweet, it still has a freshness from the lemon. It's very lemony, but it literally it's let me tell you, it literally smells like a lemon tart. You can smell the crust, you can smell that lemon mer uh, meringue, you can, smell, you can smell it. It's very, very realistic. Very sweet, but again, I've tasted it during the summer evenings and it works. Even though it's sweet, it does have that freshness from the lemon. Lemon tart from Theodoros Calotinis. Let's say you really like fruity perfumes, okay? And you're looking for fr like fruit cocktail, something like that. Like, Fruit explosion. Herba Pura Magica from Sospiro. It's beautiful. It has every single tropical fruit in it, 
but it's still creamy it's not scratchy it does last it's sexy it's amazing this one to be honest you can wear it like daytime and nighttime i just like this like super super fruity perfumes more for the daytime but this is just incredible it's honestly when it comes to this herba pura dna this one herba pura magica is the best it's like the best if again you like this dna but you want something a bit darker a bit more for the night time you can go for tabit from titiana terenzi it has the same fruitiness this one again has amber and then it has a sun note it literally smells like you are walking on hot sand it's so weird in a way that you can smell the texture of sand but then you have all of these fruits then you have that amber and it's just powerful and it's just sexy and yeah daytime can be a bit too much but all the time when i go on holiday i take a sample with me because i know i know i know that this smells amazing during the summer evenings tabit from tiziana terenzi let's say you like fruity perfumes okay but you want something creamier you want something very very smooth bon talenti from Profum uh, profumo di firenze this is i don't even know how to explain it it has banana as well okay it has other fruits but you can definitely smell in the opening some banana and then it's super milky coconutty definitely i'm not sure i didn't check the nose but i'm sure it has some coconut because it has that like coconutty texture with lots of, of fruits but everything it's creamy almost milky this i wear it again i took it with me on holiday wear it during the daytime and it's just beautiful and then for the night time again if you want something super creamy you can go with gossip night from gritty the main notes in my opinion are mango and then peach you can definitely smell both i would say the peach is overpowering maybe the mango but it's this creamy fluffy peach with a little bit of mango it definitely has other notes but this like peach is definitely the main player in this perfume it's beautiful it's sexy it's just it's sweet but it's not sugary sweet you can definitely wear it during the summer evenings it's just a beautiful fragrance okay uh gritty um gossip night from gritty for the summer evenings is going to be incredible next what else do we have in here oh let's say you like white flowers okay and you still want to wear white flowers during the summertime olympia solar from paco Rabanne. this keeps your original dna but it definitely has lots of white flowers in it and the name is just perfect solar solar is definitely has that like solar vibe it's such a beautiful fragrance from all of their flankers obviously i like the intense but everything else that they released after that I was like mm, mm, not sure this as soon as i smelled it i was like i need a bottle of it it's beautiful then for the night time we have from maisa princess de gal this is a mix between white flowers like tuberose jasmine with some yellow flowers it's beautiful it's powerful it's floral it's feminine but with that white um, yellow flowers is still perfect for the summer evenings i do have coupon codes for some of these brands i'm gonna link everything in the description box uh for other brands like i just mentioned before profumo di firenze we're gonna carry it on our website so spiro we're gonna carry this one on our website as well um so stay tuned when the website goes live in if you're, if you're from the uk and you're looking for these fragrances and you couldn't find them now you're gonna be able to purchase them anyway princess de gal from Aisa, incredible for the summer evenings next one coconut okay uh we do have in here dolce garden from dolce and cabana this one it's a mixture between coconut and some flowers but you can definitely definitely smell the coconut i don't have anything in my collection that smells like this it's a pretty unique fragrance you can wear it daytime and nighttime just bear in mind if you wear this one during the daytime spray lightly okay don't spray too much because this thing is intense all right and then for the nighttime you can smell you can still keep that coconut but you can add some ilang ilang i'm talking about ilang in gold from uh, emmy caliph i absolutely love 
the bottle and the juice and everything about it all the time again when I go on holiday I take a sample with me Ylang Ylang is definitely the main player okay you can smell a little bit of coconut but you need to like Ylang Ylang if you like that note okay especially for the summer time you are gonna fall in love in love with this fragrance it's again this creamy Ylang Ylang that creaminess is definitely coming from the coconut it's beautiful it's very luxurious it smells very rich um, yeah, absolutely, absolutely love it for the summer evenings. Ilangin Gold from M. Mikalev. Now, uh, let's say you really like cocktails. You want to smell like a cocktail. For the daytime, you can go with The Key from Navitus. This is definitely a unisex fragrance. And this one has lemon, has grapefruit, has gin, has ginger. You can definitely smell that gin. Like... It's so, it's fizzy. It's fizzy, it's citrusy, it's, I don't know. I don't know how they did it. Like, it smells like gin, but it doesn't necessarily smell like you just spread gin on you, okay? Like you spread, spread your cocktail on you, no. That grapefruit just gives it this, it's not just lemon, you know, it's lemon and grapefruit. And grapefruit, it's a no that is not used enough in my perf in perfumes, in my opinion, especially when it comes to summer perfumes. Usually, yes, lemon, lime, but grapefruit is not really there. This one has lots of grapefruit, has a bit of ginger, and that gin is just beautiful. Like, it's beautiful, it's fizzy, it's, it smells like gin. And then for the nighttime, Leisure in Paradise from Simone Andreoli. This literally smells like a pina colada, but it's a very, very, very concentrated pina colada. It's coconut and pineapple, and I think it has other notes. I think it has caramel as well, uh, but it's generally a very, very, very concentrated pina colada. Um, if you like tea, okay, you can go with Oolong Cha from Nishane the X. This is from their X collection. Um, they kindly gifted this one to me and I had the original Oolong Cha. I liked it, but it was just too much tea for me. This is perfect. This is perfect. And I'm not saying that because they gifted it to me. I have literally have a pile over there with gifted perfumes that I'm never gonna talk about because I just don't like them. But this one has Magnolia. This one has a white flower as well. So it's not just tea. Yes, you smell the green tea, it's fresh, but that magnolia just makes it, in my opinion, a bit more feminine. So if you if you felt like the original was just a tiny bit too masculine for you, Oolong Cha X is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm gonna do a full review for this one, but yeah, this for the summertime is gonna be perfect. And then for the nighttime, that actually were um, on my birthday when I went out, Remember me from Javoy. This was my scent of the night when I went out for my birthday in Palma de Mallorca and boy, I love it. This is tea and cardamom and milk. You need to like these three notes, but that not, none of them is too strong. It's milky, but not too milky. You can smell the cardamom, but it's not too intense. You can smell the tea, but again, it doesn't smell just like green tea. Is such a good fragrance and such a unique fragrance. Like you need, you need to get your nose on this fragrance. Okay, Javoy, remember me. And the last two perfumes that we have in here are for people that love fig. For the daytime, we have Concordia from Memoirs London. This is fig. It is a bit green, but it's not too green. All right. And then you're getting other fruits has a fruitiness, it has a sweetness, but you can definitely smell that that fig. It does last, it, it, it's just good. It's that green, green fig. It has a slight greenness, but you can smell the fruitiness and just the perfect balance between green and sweet and fruity. Concordia from Memoirs. And for the nighttime, Methexis from Manos Yerakinis. I took this one with me on holiday as well in the heat this is stunning okay this is stunning it's a green fig like it's a green fig it's way greener the, uh, than the fragrance that i've mentioned before but then you have honey and then you have cacao it's this mixture of green and extremely extremely sweet 
is beautiful it's not necessarily a safe blind buy okay but if you know that you like green fig you're definitely gonna love this one if you're not sure try to find a sample because this thing it's a masterpiece in my opinion it's such a unique perfume i've never in a million years would think that cacao honey and fig would work together but they do and it smells absolutely stunning the last scent that we have in here is methexis from manos Hierakimis. And that was it for today guys that was it please let me know in the comments down below what summer fragrances would you recommend for the daytime for the nighttime um if you tested any of these if you like them if you don't and all of that and yeah that was it for today thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and like always i'm gonna see you in my next one Bye bye